All right. So what about the query stage? So I type in a bunch of BS. Mm -hmm. I, I type a poorly structured query. Uh, what kind of processing can be done to make that usable? Is that an LLM type of problem? I think LLMs really help there. So what LLMs add is even if your initial retrieval doesn't have like a amazing uh, set of documents, like, like that's really good recall, but not as high a precision, LLMs can still find a needle in the haystack. Mm -hmm. And um, traditional search cannot, because like they're all about precision and recall simultaneously. Like in Google, it's, even though we call it 10 blue links, you get annoyed if you don't even have the right link in the first three or four. Mm -hmm. AI is so tuned to getting it right. Mm -hmm. LLMs are fine. Like you, you get the right link maybe in the 10th or 9th, you feed it in the model, uh, it, it can still know that that was more relevant than the first. So that 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 that, that flexibility allows you to like rethink uh, where to put your resources in, in terms of uh, whether you want to keep making the model better or whether you want to make the retrieval stage better. It's a trade-off. In computer science, it's all about trade-offs, right, at the end. So one of the things we should say is that uh, the model, the sort of the pre-trained LLM is something that you can swap out in perplexity. So it could be GPT-40, it could be Claude 3, it can be uh, Llama, something based on Llama yeah. 3. That's the model we train ourselves. We took Llama 3 mm -hmm. and we post-trained it to be very good at few skills like summarization, referencing citations, mm -hmm. uh, keeping context, and uh, uh, longer context support. So that was that's called Sonar. You can go to the AI model if you subscribe to Pro like I did and uh, choose between GPT-4.0, GPT-4 Turbo, Claw 3 Sonnet, Claw 3 Opus, and uh, Sonar Large 32K. So that's the one that's trained on uh, Llama 3 yeah. 70B. Advanced model trained by perplexity. I like how you added advanced model. It sounds way more sophisticated. I like it. Sonar Large. Cool, and you could try that, and that's, is that going to be, so the trade-off here is between, what, latency? It's gonna be faster than uh, Claude models or 4.0, because we, we are pretty good at inferencing it ourselves, like we host it and we have like a cutting edge API for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it still lags behind in four, G, from GPT-4 today, uh, in like some finer, queries that require more reasoning and things like that. But these are the sort of things you can address with more post-training, RHF training, and things like that, and we're working on it. So um, in the future, you hope your model to be like the dominant, the default model? We don't care. We don't care. Uh, that doesn't mean we're not gonna work towards it, but this is where the model agnostic viewpoint is very helpful. Like, does the user care if perplexity uh, perplexity has the most dominant model in order to come and use the product? No. Does the user care about a good answer? Yes. So whatever model is providing us the best answer, whether we fine-tuned it from somebody else's base model or a model we host ourselves, it's okay. And that, that flexibility allows you to... Really focus on the user. But it allows you to be AI complete, which means like you keep improving with every... Yeah, we, 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 we're group. not taking off the shelf models from anybody. Mm -hmm. We have customized it for the product. Uh, whether like we own the weights for it or not is something else, right? So the I think I think there's also a power to design the product to work well with any model. If there are some idiosyncrasies of any model, shouldn't affect the product. 